Hey everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to learn four key ingredients that make a good prompt. The first ingredient is a goal, and in today's example, we want to ask Copilot to draft a manual for 10 tips on goal setting. So the purpose of the goal is to define what you want from Copilot. It's the target. And in our case, it is 10 tips for goal setting, but this could be a snippet of code for making a program or really anything else. Copilot is super diverse. Now the goal is actually the only ingredient that you need when you are prompting Copilot, but it's sort of like ordering pizza tonight and you just say, I want pizza. You're ordering a mystery box of pizza. You don't really know what you're going to get. The next ingredient that we are going to add is example. In our example, we will build on our goal and prompt Copilot to draft a manual for 10 tips on goal setting use SMART goals. Now you'll notice that we have capitalized SMART and that's because Copilot responds better to accurate punctuation. Now an example is either a source of information such email or a chat or in our example a source is a piece of content that we are providing as an example that we would like in the outcome. Now you can see how by prompting Copilot to use SMART goals, it is now incorporating these into the 10 tips. This is sort of like saying, I like Mediterranean pizza. We are now adding the flavors. The third ingredient that we are going to add is audience. Building on our prompt, let's ask Copilot to draft a manual for 10 tips on goal setting. We are hosting a workshop for small business owners to help them define and achieve their goals. Use SMART goals. Now we can think of the audience as the who do we need this information for and why are we creating it? It provides the context. We can see here that Copilot has now started to tailor this response to business owners and is even providing specific examples to businesses themselves. This is sort of like saying they are a vegetarian, so we aren't going to put meat on their pizza, but there's still one more ingredient, which is tone. So let's add the icing on the cake and prompt Copilot to draft a manual for 10 tips on goal setting. We are hosting a workshop for small business owners to help them define and achieve their goals. The tone will be professional and include examples from business leaders, use SMART goals. So we can think of the tone as setting the expectation, how do you want Copilot to respond? Now, the tone for this was already quite professional, and I suspect that Copilot picked up on the word business and started to use business language. As we can see here, this response is now including examples of business leaders into that list, fine tuning this prompt for us. So continuing with my analogy, this is sort of like saying, I would like a thin crust pizza, right? So by adding all of these four ingredients into the prompt, we are able to make a custom pizza tailored specifically for you, or for me, I do like Mediterranean pizza. These four ingredients form the acronym GATE. If you're wondering, does order matter? Let's take a look and compare these two prompts and see if we can identify any differences. The first example is goal, audience, and example. I have read that order does matter and that emphasis will be put on the final ingredient. So in this case, it will be the example which was use SMART goals. So this result does look pretty good to me. I do see that SMART goals are being included into these 10 steps. I don't see any major red flags. Second prompt is audience example goal. So going on the premise that Copilot is going to put emphasis on that final ingredient, which in this case is the goal or generate a list 10 tips on goal setting, then we can see here that the structure is certainly different. But I wouldn't necessarily say that one is better than the other. They both seem pretty comparable to me, just presenting things in a different way. So what this comparison can suggest is that if you aren't happy with the response that you have gotten, you can try to prompt Copilot again. Again, it might generate a different response or you can alternate the ingredients and see if you can get a more desirable response that way. Feel free to screenshot this slide. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you prefer a certain order for the ingredients or if there is another ingredient that you would like to add, then drop those in the comments below. Additionally, if you did enjoy this video, then please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.